Jackson could count by twos and tie his shoes. He could ride a bike and he could climb a tree. He knew he wasn't a baby anymore. But one day, Franklin was worried that his friends might think he looked like one. Six, seven, eight. Ooh, close one. You nearly landed in quicksand. Your turn, Franklin. Come on, sixes, get me out of the woods. Yay, nothing can stop me now. Uh-oh, don't be so sure about that, Franklin. No, Bee Bear, not this way. Ah! Oh, no. Why isn't she having her nap? I don't know. Has anyone seen Beatrice's teddy bear? Oh, now I do. Come on, guys. Let's help Bee Bear find her teddy. Hmm. Found it. Phew. Thank goodness. Thank you, Rabbit. Okay, be there. Time for your nap. She won't go to sleep without her teddy. Really? Babies and their stuffed toys. Uh, yeah. You've been a really good friend, Sam. But only babies sleep with stuffed toys. And I'm not a baby anymore. I know it's not going to be easy for you, but you don't have to sleep alone. You can sleep here beside Goldie. Goldie will keep an eye on you, Sam. And I'll be sleeping right over there. <sighs> I guess there isn't much else to say except good night. Good night, Goldie. <sighs> See you in the morning. Is it hard for you to sleep? It's hard for me to sleep, too. If you don't tell anyone, I won't tell anyone. <sighs> Good night, Sam. <laughs> Guess what? What? My mom and dad said we can go camping in my backyard tonight. Oh, boy, I can't wait. Oh, I haven't great. slept in my tent for a long time. You don't have to bring a tent. We've got one that's big enough for all of us. That's neat. This is going to be fun. All of us sleeping in the same tent? Great. Great. We have more eggplants than we can possibly eat. So I'm glad you can take some of these off our hands, Mrs. Muskrat. Mmm. -hmm. So glad I could help. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Oops! What's all this, Franklin? <laughs> Are you moving out? I'm going camping. Well, I hope you've got enough room to carry a little surprise I made to share with your friends. What? Blueberry muffins. Blueberry muffins? I'd leave everything behind to make room for those. <laughs> <laughs> Do you and your friends have a long hike ahead of you? No, not too far. Just next door to your house. Oh, well, you'd better keep an eye on those blueberry muffins. I've seen bears over there. <laughs> <laughs> I have two, and one of them loves muffins. <laughs> there you go. Mmm, thanks, Mom. Wow, look at all the stuff you got to carry. Looks like you're going to need some help, Franklin. Gee, thanks. That'd be great. Uh, I'll carry my pillow, Rabbit. That's okay, Franklin. I've got it. <gasps> Maybe you'll need to take your wagon. That's all right. I don't mind carrying a few things. 
You're a lucky turtle, Franklin. <sighs> That's for sure. A camping we will go, a camping we will go. Hi ho, pistachios, a camping we will go. <laughs> there, that ought to do it. We're ready to move in. Come on, let's get our stuff. Hey, what's in this bag? <gasps> no, don't look ah. in there. Oh. Um, I mean, sorry, Fox. It's just that my mom packed a special treat, and I was saving it for a surprise. A tree? <gasps> That's my favorite kind of surprise. Okay, Franklin, what is it? Yeah, what did your mom pack? Open it up. Um... We can't have the surprise yet. We've got to wait until everything is set up in the tent. Great! Come on, guys. Let's go. Hurry. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll have you out of there soon. Okay, Franklin. Everybody's ready. Yeah, and so is my tummy. All right. I want everyone to close their eyes. And I don't want any peeking. They're closed. I can't see a thing. Okay, I'm ready. Please let it be something with rainbow sprinkles on top. I'm still watching you. Huh? Eggplants. Eggplants. Eggplants? What kind of surprise treat is that? Yeah, and they don't even have rainbow sprinkles on them. I don't know what happened, guys. I've got the wrong bag. Then who's got our surprise treat? Franklin! Franklin! Franklin? Mrs. Muskrat's calling you. What's that she's got? <gasps> Franklin! I've got something of yours. We had a bit of a mix-up. <laughs> Thanks, Mrs. Muskrat. Where's the muffin bag? Right here. Huh? The bag's full of cookies. I know. Don't worry. The muffins are at the bottom. I thought I'd add a little surprise of my own. What have you got, Franklin? <laughs> What's she giving you? <gasps> please, oh. Mrs. Muskrat, please hide, Sam. And please don't say anything, please. All right. I'll get them later. Look, guys, Mrs. Muskrat had it, and she added chocolate chip cookies. Oh, boy! Thanks, Mrs. Muskrat. Thank you. Thanks, Mrs. Muskrat. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Mrs. Muskrat. You're welcome, Franklin. And when they followed the footprints to the water's edge, all that was left was his shadow. Ooh, spooky. Ooh, good story, Bear. <sighs> well, I guess I'd better take these eggplants back to Mrs. Muskrat. Now? After a scary story like that? I don't know why you waited until after dark. It's okay. I've got my flashlight, and it's only next door. Hey, Franklin, if we find your shadow in the morning, can I hang it on my bedroom wall? <laughs> And if they found out I still need Sam, they'd think I was being a baby. Oh, I see. I wonder if your friends would think I'm a baby. You? Why would they think that? Meet Kitty. I've had her since I was five. Really? Uh-huh. And after all these years, I still need her. You do? But you're a grown-up. Oh, yes. And like lots of grown-ups, I've kept certain toys. I even talk to you sometimes, don't I, Kitty? Mm-hmm. <laughs> toys from your childhood that are special are worth hanging on to, Franklin. Oh, I'm going to hang on to Sam, Mrs. Muskrat. Just not while my friends are looking. This is perfect, Sam. They're asleep. Whoa! <gasps> what? Who? Yeah. What? <gasps> oh. Hey, you guys sleep with stuffed toys.
guys, too? Well, yeah. Uh, sort of. Um, it's hard to get to sleep without Grizzly. <sighs> I have bad dreams if I don't have Panda beside me. You guys, I've been trying to hide Sam all day. Why didn't you tell me? You didn't ask? Sam, can you sit over here for a minute? There's something I've got to do. <laughs> berry patch. Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He liked blueberries and he liked blackberries too. But one day, Franklin learned that berries you share with everyone are the best kind of all. Oh, Bear, there aren't even enough berries here for one pie. And I don't have enough for one piece of pie. Maybe we'll find more berries on the other side. I don't think so. I've been picking for a long time, and this is all I found. Last year, I could have picked this many in 10 minutes. And last year, I ate this many in 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take these to my house, Bear, and see if we've got enough for Mom to make a pie. Or if there's not enough, maybe a really big tart instead. See you guys later. Bye. See you later. Let's take a shortcut through here. Okay. Seems more like a long cut, Bear. Maybe it's not quite as short as I thought. <gasps> hey, Bear! Do you see what I see? <gasps> Berries! Gazillions of them! Mmm! Delicious! <laughs> Don't forget, Bear. We're filling our baskets, not our stomachs. <laughs> there are so many berries, I can fill both at the same time. And the best thing is, nobody else knows about it. It's our very own berry patch. <laughs> you mean our very own berry patch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's come back first thing tomorrow and pick some more. Yeah, lots more. And, and don't, don't tell, tell anybody, anybody else about it. About it. <laughs> to all the birds. I wonder what they're doing. <gasps> I know what they're doing. They're eating our berries. Shoo! Shoo! Fly away! There, that's ours. <gasps> hey, find Shoo! your own berries. <gasps> get out of Go here. find your own berries. We'll never get any berries picked if we have to chasing the birds away. It's not fair. This is our berry patch. Hey, Shoo, go on. Shoo, go away. Shoo, go find your own berries. Aw, we can't guard the whole patch ourselves. It's too big. Hey, I know what we can do. again. Now these guys can stay here while we go kite flying and we can pick berries later. And we'll still have the whole patch to ourselves. Come on, Bear. 
<laughs> hey, what's that sound? I hear it too. It's coming from over there. Let's go check it out. Wait, I'll go look for you. Hold my kite, Rabbit. I'd better go with them. Here, Rabbit. Hey, wait a minute, guys. I'm coming too. Whoa! Look out, Rabbit. Hey, guys. How am I supposed to hold on to three kites? Hurry up, Bear. <clears throat> Why are knots always a lot harder to untie? Especially when you're in a hurry. I was trying to fly three kites at once. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Huh? <laughs> Why are you carrying forks and spoons in your shell? I, uh, found them? Yeah, they were, um, tied to some bushes. Why would anybody do something silly like that? Gee, that's a good question, isn't it, Bear? Yeah, <laughs> really good. I figured my mom would be happy to get these. Her set is missing some spoons and forks. I've had enough kite flying. Let's go to the playground. Wait, where's our kites? <laughs> Look up. Huh? Phew. That was a close call. Yeah, our kites could have been ruined. <laughs> I'm talking about our berry patch. If they'd found it, we wouldn't have had the berries all to ourselves. Whee! <laughs> hey, guys, what's that? What's what? Something really bright. I don't see anything. Keep me up at the top next time. I want to see what it is. There it is again. I see it too. It's coming from over in the woods. Uh-oh, it's the pie plates. Um, maybe it's lightning. There aren't any clouds in the sky. Besides, lightning doesn't look like that. Well, I'd better get going home anyway, just in case. Yeah, me too. Ah! Uh. Sorry, skunk. I don't get it. Their houses are back that way. Come on, I want to see what that flashing light is. Whoa! Gee, Franklin, we're scaring the birds away from our berry patch, all right, but we're attracting everybody else. Hi, guys! <gasps> Quick, hide them, Bear! What are you carrying? Pie plates? What are those for? Um, pies? First it was forks and spoons. And now plates? What's going on? Maybe someone was having a picnic? Let's look around, Skunk. Maybe we can find more stuff. Oh, no. They're getting warmer. Sooner or later, they'll find our berry patch for sure. We'd better get picking. Faster, Bear! They couldn't have seen us. Hi, guys. What are you doing? Who are they talking to? Oh, us. Hey, you guys, over here. Maybe they don't see us. What? No wonder they didn't answer. <laughs> Maybe someone cast a spell on them and turned them into cardboard. I wonder what's... Wow! Look at all the berries! Gazillions of them! Mm. <laughs> Yummy! Hey, find your own berries! Those are ours! Your berries? Which ones? All of them! <laughs> not this one, <laughs> and not that one either! Shoo! Go find your own berries! Hey, come back here! No fair! That's <laughs> ours! <laughs> I guess they like berries, too. They can find their own berry patch. This one's ours. There it goes! <gasps> Ooh. Oh! Ah, look! Babies! The bird wasn't 
taking the berries for itself. Gee, one berry's not enough for four little mouths, especially four little hungry mouths. I wonder how many more hungry mouths are out there. It sure sounds like a lot. Gee, Bear, we're only two mouths. And we tried to keep the whole berry patch to ourselves. And there's enough berries for all of us if we share. Berries, right, Franklin? Right, Bear. Gee, they sure do have big appetites. Make sure all your babies get some. <laughs> I think she's saying thanks for the berries. 